Thank you so much to give me this opportunity to be on your scene, to see and to have one eye on your stars. On my way back from the Australian Open, my name is Stefan Houdet and I'm a tennis player. But my life didn't start really uh, this way. As far as, I, as far as I remember, I played tennis. But when I was 25, that was my job. I was um, a veterinarian. I was, of course, work, working with pets, but also with uh, large animals. And technology by the time was a little bit different, but was still involved. And I started to um, work in farms in the middle of France and I was so happy to do that that I decided to start a new collaboration and to celebrate we choose the opportunity to visit all the capitals from Europe with a motorbike and after a few days as you can see I overtook a car that overtook bicycles at the same time pushed me on the left side. I couldn't feel anything, but I heard a big crash, and the result, as you can see, was a new technology that looked like this at the beginning. As an athlete, and um, since probably the age of seven, my rehab was immediately about sports. So I went to a research team and I learned how to walk with the prosthetic. This one is how to run with the prosthetic, but anything was uh, about technology, how to involve what I was uh, using now, a new leg, an electronic leg, and having fun with that. So we started a new research, we tried to involve everything. And because uh, I wanted to play the games, the Paralympic Games, I moved to uh, another sport that was with a new technology because everyone told me it was impossible to play golf with such a prosthetic. I, I met a friend from a new uh, team of researcher, an engineer, and he said, OK, I know what we're going to do. We're going to work on something new with this specific prosthetic that was able to turn to have a lot of pivot that gave me the opportunity to find the right way to drive, to play golf, but also to find good advantages. On my way with competition in golf, I became the number one in Europe, and I was lucky to meet this famous guy. Maybe you know him better with this photo. He's uh, the famous uh, soccer player, Johan Cruyff, who was the captain of the team of the Netherlands a uh, few, few years ago. And Johan was a big fan of uh, golf, and he told me uh, we should organize a world golf tour for uh, the, the disabled, and that was a dream for me to, to, to have this uh, done. And so he introduced me to uh, his team in the foundation, he asked me to work with them, and very soon in the project he told me, you know, we are not going to reinvent everything for golf, we are supporting as the Craft Foundation another sport, you should go and watch and we're going to do the same. And this sport, was mine as a child, meaning it was tennis. It was a little bit different than the one uh, I'm playing on, on this photo. But um, immediately I was thinking, because this sport is a professional sport and we can play all the slams all over the world, I want to work on this project. The name of this sport is wheelchair tennis. At the Paralympics, the International Tennis Federation decided to have only one group all together playing with a chair. And the history uh, with the, the wheelchair tennis and the technology for me was to say 
everyone was playing wheelchair tennis by the past, started to push his own day chair and try to, to improve. I went to a team of a researcher again, and I told them, okay, this is the way I was doing a forehand, this is the way I was doing a backhand, can you help me to roll? And so we started again to work with the same kind of, uh, of uh, technology. I had, to did, uh, I had to do motions to analyze and then to try live, which was the, the, the best position. And so we started to mix, and I had to change from standing tennis to wheelchair tennis. And the best position they have chosen for me has been done with this one, this chair, which is in full carbon fiber, and which is very, very close from my forehand from the past. And they said, to get more power, you need to stay on your knee, and then you will be able to turn your upper limbs compared to uh, your lower limbs to get more power for the shots, but also more power to push. And if I came with the chair, it's also because we did so many research that this wheel is only one kilo. And this wheel of one kilo for a sport is also a huge improvement for everyone as a dead chair. This chair is 100% uh, carbon fiber. This is the one we, you, you saw this, and it allows me now to play all over the world. So I'm saying I'm coming back from Melbourne where you saw the big uh, Rafa, Rafael Nadal winning his 21st slam. But we also play at the French Open, Roland Garros, same position, and I can, I can even uh, use uh, my back to add more power to the ball, and I can also have a lot of extension right and left. It's more, it's more difficult to play in Wimbledon on the grass, but that's also very uh, helpful to have worked on this uh, project. Here at the US Open, um, and uh, And just as, a, as an extra uh, word about technology, you can see me here at the US Open playing with a shirt like the Mousquetaire. We developed a bespoke shirt with a, a tailor uh, to, to play in, the, in these conditions too, just to work also on the design. Thanks to all these uh, achievements, France gave me the flag. I was the flag bearer for the Tokyo 2020, the games. And I want just to show you something that was my image of the games. So that's the end of the match. And for those who know anything about the scores, it's the tie break in the third set. And I'm playing with this chair on the right of the screen. Just for you to see how it works. And then it gave us a match point, which is a funny one, so I want you to see. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Match point. <laughs> so you applause, you think the ball was good, and thanks to the technology, we had a challenge of the ball to check if the ball was good or not. And we were so lucky to see on the big screen my uh, image of the games that was uh, on the line. We have only a few minutes remaining, and uh, 
I could quit because uh, I'm not the youngest in the team, but because we have a new event coming in Paris in 2024, I've decided to work again on the chair. It's uh, only a few details, but I want to be higher to have a better serve and also um, to, uh, to, to, to get a better position with my knees. And it will uh, go for a new world record. I want to, do, um, to break the record and to have a chair that is going to be less than six kilos. So less than six is uh, very good for uh, tennis, but it will be also very good for everyone who needs uh, to, to use a chair. Anyway, this project was uh, celebrated and uh, really um, challenging, but uh, as I told you, I'm uh, on my way back to France and someone very famous asked me to work with him. Now maybe you recognize that he's the French uh, president and uh, he wants us to work more on the development. Thank you very much.